Not long ago, diseases like smallpox, polio, and tetanus carried deadly consequences for those infected. But science and medical research showed us what progress and breakthroughs can look like, bringing with them prevention, treatment, and even cure. One day, in 1981, another deadly threat emerged and would come to be known as AIDS. As it spread around the world, it took the lives of many. Then, one day, in 1985, two pioneering women, Elizabeth Taylor and Dr. Mathilde Krim, founded an organization called AMFAR to bring hope to those impacted by AIDS. AMFAR funded and continues to fund research aimed at preventing, treating, and curing HIV. It has been a beacon of hope for people living with HIV and dying of AIDS. Money from AMFAR would help develop breakthroughs, including drugs to stop AIDS-related deaths and stop mothers from passing HIV onto their children. AMFAR also fought stigma and discrimination and stood up for the rights of people living with HIV. And then, one day, in 2008, another breakthrough was reported. Someone living with HIV had been cured. Since then, five other people have been cured. But their cures have been complex and risky and won't cure everyone. I'm too young to remember the early days of AIDS, but I remember when one day, not so long ago, we all woke up to a scary new plague, COVID-19. Once again, people were dying. And once again, science came to the rescue. Thanks to years of research on HIV, scientists were able to quickly develop vaccines against COVID-19. AMFAR's work has touched millions around the world. Not just those living with HIV, they've worked to combat some of the toughest diseases, including COVID, hepatitis, and tuberculosis. Today, I dream of the future, my future. Medical research gives me hope and allows me to dream that one day, diseases like these will no longer exist. With your help, AMFAR's research will lead to many more life-saving breakthroughs and will turn my dream into reality.